Hello friends, this is Sunil sir and I am back with a new video. Friends, in this video I will be talking about giant chromosomes. But before I start with my video, I request you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give a like once you have understood. There are two types of giant chromosomes that we need to study as far as NEET exam is concerned. One is polyteen chromosome and other one is lamprush chromosome. Now most important is when they are observed, when we can see polyteen chromosome. So we need to understand students that the polyteen chromosome is seen during interphase and the lamprush chromosome is observed during prophase 1 of meiosis. And in this we need to understand one very important thing that is the transcription. We all know what is transcription that is from DNA you are going to get mRNA. This is transcription. In interphase basically in the polyteen chromosome we need to understand that there is no cell division taking place. There are two types of bands that you are going to study as far as the polyteen chromosome is concerned. One will be called as dark band and other will be called as light band. The point is what is the difference between the two? So when I say dark band just remember in dark band the DNA amount is more and the RNA is less. And in light band DNA will be less and RNA will be more. This light band and dark band we are going to study further in the diagram and that time you have to recollect that I have told you in the dark band DNA is more and in the light band DNA is less. So what I request you is to observe the video completely. You will definitely learn what is polyteen and lamprush chromosome. So let's start the video and begin. So whenever I talk about first chromosome that is called as polyteen chromosome. The word poly here means many. So I can say in polyteen chromosome they will have thousands of DNA and the point is where they are found. So we need to understand students that the polyteen chromosomes they are found in the salivary gland. And who talked about this first? So he is none other than E. G. Balbiani in 1881 who talked about polyteen chromosome. In whose salivary gland it is found sir? It is common to many dipterans. Now you will ask sir what is dipterans? So I will say dipterans are nothing but those insects which have two wings. So we can say the two winged flies basically are dipterans. And what happens in polyteen chromosome? Continuous replication takes place students. I can even call them as what? Endoreplication. There is continuous replication going on of the DNA without any division. So what we need to understand here? There is continuous transcription basically taking place. Endoreplication is going on without any division and they form a large banded chromosome. And this polyteen chromosome basically has chromosomal puff. The puff style, the swelling part, the puff hairstyle that girls normally have, that kind of puff is seen near the centromere area. So it has a chromosomal puff and it is mostly studied and observed in the chromosome of Drosophila melanogaster. How this chromosomal puff is formed sir? So we need to understand that this chromosomal puff is logically representing active site of RNA synthesis. Remember transcription, the process of synthesis of mRNA from the DNA was transcription. So here in the chromosomal puff it is actually representing that active site of RNA synthesis. It means there is active RNA synthesis going on in the chromosomal puff. And this transcription when it goes on continuously near, near the centromere area, it is going to form a ring like structure. And since it was given by Balbiani, we call it as Balbiani ring. So this is what we need to understand. Let's study the structure of polyteen chromosome. So what I will be doing, I will be drawing a centromere part basically you can say it is chromocenter and this is what I am drawing is the first chromosome I can say a Y chromosome and now what comes out is all the different chromosomes basically here there is no cell division only DNA replication is taking place that is a kind of endo replication. Now what we need to understand this is the X chromosome it is the first chromosome that is seen and most important what we need to understand student that the X chromosome is found in both the male drosophila as well as in the female drosophila. Now we need to draw the another chromosome. So I will draw the chromosome 2. 
Now this is the second chromosome which I will be drawing and remember that dark band and light band the dark band has more of basically DNA and less of RNA so these dark bands what you are observing in the diagram they are indicating more DNA and less RNA and the light band that you are observing indicating less DNA and more RNA now there is another chromosome that I am drawing it's a chromosome number 2 again it is representing the dark band and the light band here there is continuous replication going on but there is no cell division that is what we need to understand and most importantly this polytene chromosome is seen during the interphase stage very important to remember and you should never forget so there these two are nothing but the arm you can say chromosome number two now I will be drawing the arm chromosome number three so basically all these what I am drawing is nothing but the part of the chromosomes now since there is lots of DNAs present together they will form a polytene chromosome so this is arm chromosome number three so it's very easy to draw in your exam also you can easily remember first we have drawn the y chromosome then we have made the x x we have made only one x and y and then the chromosome arm chromosome in a pair we have the third one and this is the arm chromosome number three that we are drawing and the fourth one I will draw it here so let me first label it this is nothing but arm chromosome three and it's in a pair and what I am drawing here inside that will be chromosome number four now this is how you can remember the structure of polytene chromosome remember very carefully there is endo replication going on there is continuous transcription taking place there will be no cell division taking place it is taking place in the interface stage and where it is found so we need to understand that this polytene chromosome is found in the drosophila melanogaster it is found in two winged flies that is dipterans and this is chromosome number four see in the interface now here the basically size of the chromosome is 300 times larger in size and most important there is endo replication taking place of chromatids and there is no cell division so student this diagram will help you to definitely understand the polytene chromosome in a very simple way because the word polytene itself means many many thousands of DNA coming together that is the polytene chromosome now next what we need to understand very important part that chromonema number we all know about chromonema chromonema number increases approximately you can say 2000 times that is a very important part as far as your need is concerned next chromosome that we are going to talk about is the lamp brush chromosome so I hope you would have understood basically the structure of the polytene chromosome now next chromosome is Lamprush chromosome whenever I talk about Lamprush chromosome first question that comes in my mind where it is found so I need to understand students it is a special form of chromosome found in growing oocyte or immature egg of most animals except mammal remember Lamprush chromosome is not found in mammals very important question and who gave this Lamprush chromosome so it was given by one of the great scientists Walter Fleming in 1882 I hope if you remember Walter Fleming he is the one who talked about mitosis so remember Walter Fleming in 1882 talked about Lamprush chromosome and it is found where sir very specifically can you tell me yes of course my dear students it is found mostly in the tailed or tailless amphibians it is also found in the birds and it is found in the insects so these are the different animals where you can find this Lamprush chromosome sir how can we remember the structure can we see the structure of Lamprush chromosome definitely yes students see the chromosome that we have they are in pair basically we have a maternal chromosome and we have a paternal chromosome so in amphibians tailless or tailed amphibians or insects or birds they are going to have one maternal and one paternal chromosome so let us take this blue colored which I am drawing is indicating the maternal chromosome and the white color which I have drawn it is going to represent the paternal chromosome so let's take it in this way so I label it as maternal chromosome and I label this blue one as the paternal chromosome what we are going to do we are going to just zoom in this small area of the paternal chromosome this small area this small section that I mark here and I'm going to see what exactly is present inside 
so this is nothing but the enlarged section of the chromosome and what I see I see chromomeres these dots that you can see let me label it with different color this yellow color dots that you see these are nothing but the chromomeres and what you can see coming out is the chromatin loop now this is a very important diagram because this chromatin loop when we observe more carefully after zooming inside then only we can see that Lamprush chromosome so remember student this is chromomere this is chromatin loop and this is nothing but the enlarged section of the chromosome what I will be doing now I will be focusing on only one chromatin loop so let us zoom this bigger one this bigger chromatin loop that you can see let me just zoom it out and when I zoom in what I'm going to observe I'm going to observe something very beautiful the Lamprush chromosome so let's understand now why it is called as Lamprush the structure is appearing like a brush therefore it is called as Lamprush chromosome so I've drawn this this is the loop and upper loop the lower loop and in between we have some folds these folds are called as chromomeres and let's do the labeling to understand this here we have chromatid so the upper chromatid and the lower chromatid we have the loop that is called as chromatin loop and here what we see is the chromomere what we need to understand here what is the size of the loop students very important the size of the loop is somewhere around 10 micrometer so this is all what you should know with respect to your Lamprush chromosome in detail student nothing more will be asked in your NEET exam as far as this Lamprush chromosome is concerned so this is very important topic as I told you the length of the loop will be 10 micrometer it's very important topic as far as your NEET exam is concerned remember that there are two giant chromosome the polyteen chromosome and the Lamprush chromosome and these topic they can come in exam for your NEET exam and I have covered it in a very simple way hope students you would have liked my video if you are new to the channel friends don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give a like to the video because your like motivates me to make more such easy videos for you this is Sunil sir saying goodbye to you thank you very much see you in a new video and next video will be definitely very important video with respect to your NEET exam